Hi students, in the previous video we saw about the introduction and the classification of embedded system. In this video we will be studying about the major application areas of embedded systems and also the purpose of embedded system. So firstly the major application areas of embedded systems. The application areas and the products in the embedded domain are countless. A few of important domains and products are listed here. The first one, household appliances like television, washing machine, refrigerator, microwave oven, etc. Consumer electronics like cameras, home automation and security systems like air conditioners, sprinklers, intruder detection alarms, fire alarms, etc. Automotive industries, they have the anti-lock braking system, engine control, ignition system, automatic navigation system, etc. In the telecom department, uh, that is uh, the cellular telephones, telephone switches. In the computer peripherals, that is we have the printers, scanners, fax machine, etc. In the computer networking systems, all the routers, switches, hubs, firewalls come into picture. In the department of healthcare, we have different kinds of scanners, EEG, ECG machines, etc. The measurement and instrumentation, all the multimeters, CROs, analyzers uh, come under this measurement and instrumentation. In the banking and retail, uh, we have the automatic teller machines and currency counters. In the wearable devices, uh, we have, uh, we can check the health and fitness uh, trackers. And lastly, uh, it is the cloud computing and the internet of things. Uh, these are the few major application areas of uh, embedded systems. Then moving on to the purpose of embedded systems. Each embedded system is designed to serve the purpose of any one or a combination of the following task. So it might be any one of the purpose or it might be any combination of the purposes. Okay. The first one is the data collection or storage or representation. Next is the data communication. Next, the data, data or signal processing, monitoring, control. Lastly, the application specific user interface. Let us see one by one with an example each. The first one, data collection, storage or representation. Data representation refers to the form in which data is stored, processed and transmitted. Embedded systems designed for the purpose of data collection performs acquisition of data from the external world. Data might be of the form of a text, voice, image, video, electrical signals or any quantity which can be measured. Data can be of either analog or digital. The collected data may be stored directly in the system or may be transmitted to some other system or it may be processed by the system or it may be deleted instantly. A digital camera is a typical example of an embedded system with data collection or storage or representation of data. Images are captured and captured image may be stored within the memory of the camera. The captured image can also be presented to the user through a graphic LCD unit. The next purpose is the data communication. The applications of embedded systems ranges from the satellite to that of the home networking system. The mode of the transmission can be either wired or wireless medium. A typical example of data communication is a wireless network router and also some few of the examples are the hubs and switches. So these act as a mediators in the data communication and provide various features like data security, monitoring, etc. So next, moving on to the next purpose, that is data or signal processing. The data which is collected by the embedded system may be used for various kinds of data processing. These signal or digital processing is used in speech coding, synthesis, audio video codec, transmission, applications, etc. A digital hearing aid is a typical example of an embedded system employing data processing Digital hearing aid improves the hearing capacity of hearing impaired persons. The next purpose is the monitoring. 
Embedded systems, which are designed for monitoring functions, are under the medical domain. A very good example is an electrocardiogram, that is ECG machine, for monitoring the heartbeat of a patient. The machine is intended to do the monitoring of the heartbeat. It cannot impose control over the heartbeat. The sensors used in ECG are the different electrodes connected to the patient's body. Some other examples of embedded systems with monitoring functions are measuring instruments like digital CRO, digital multimeters, logic analyzers, etc. The next purpose is a control. The embedded systems with control functionalities impose control over some variables according to the changes in the input variables. Let, the, let me consider an example. Say if we have seen the robots that balances on two wheels, the goal of the embedded system is to balance and to do the desired task. So this is all controlled by the embedded control system. A system with control functionality contains both sensors and actuators. Sensors are connected to the input port for capturing the changes in environmental variable or measuring variable. The actuators connected to the output port are controlled according to the changes in the input variable to put an impact on the controlling variable to bring the control variable to the specified range. Air conditioner system is, uh, is, use, is the best example that is air conditioner system used in our home to control the room temperature to a specified limit is a typical example for embedded system for the control purpose. Air conditioner contains a room temperature sensing element that is a sensor which may be a thermistor and a handheld unit for setting up the desired temperature. The last purpose is application specific user interface. These are embedded systems with application specific user interfaces like buttons, switches, keypad, lights, bells, display, etc. Display units, etc. So the mobile phone is the best example for this purpose. In mobile phone, the user interface is provided through the keypad, keypad, graphic LCD module, system speaker, vibration alert, etc. So these are the uh, few, that is the sixth purpose of the embedded systems. Thank you.